Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna help a buddy of ours next door here. You might be able to kind of see things are tore apart. We're gonna help hook up something really cool, so stick with us. with Tommy with Grateful Days RV Life and uh, we got him kind of hooked on the whole solar thing after sitting here hanging out for a little bit. So we're going to hook up a couple ground panels. We've got a couple hundred watt uh, Ren Energy panels here for him and we're going to install Bogart Engineering solar controller and a battery monitor. Um, he didn't have a battery monitor yet so um, that way he'll be able to see where his percentages are and then we've got you know the necessary hardware to hook them up so that's what we're going to do all right so we hooked him up here with a bogart engineering battery management system and i kind of want to show you guys what comes in this kit um, we can see here um, i don't know if you can read this or not but it's got the uh, trimetric a battery monitor it's got the 500 amp 50 millivolt shunt um, it's got 35 feet of cable of the communication cable a fuse holder uh, the PWM 30 amp solar charge controller and a crossover cable so the charge controller can communicate with the battery monitor. What I like about this setup is that these two pieces are manufactured to work together um, which is really cool and I actually have two uh, solar controllers in my rig talking to one battery monitor so it works pretty cool. Got your, your instruction manual here. Um, this, uh, for lack of a better term, this phone cable is the communication cable for the uh, battery monitor and then this cable connects to the shunt and is what we're going to use uh, to make sure that the battery monitor knows what kind of uh, current is coming in and out of the battery so that's super helpful. It's got instructions on how to connect that. Uh, let's see here we've got the shunt itself um, now, any battery monitor you buy that's got that gives you a percentage of, of charge is going to have to use a shunt because it reads the current across. That's kind of how that works. Um, this is the TM2030 RV battery monitor. It's the RV model. It comes in this nice plastic case. You simply screw it to the wall. Uh, we'll have to drill a hole in it uh, to run the cables in uh, to connect to the back of it, and we'll kind of show you that here in a little bit. And then finally, a big piece of hardware is the uh, solar charge controller. Uh, this is the 30 amp PMW solar charge controller. Um, it'll work with 12 or 24 volt systems. Um, and it'll work with an AGM or flooded type battery. Uh, now, if you've been following us on the channel, uh, you may have seen my lithium battery install video. Um, and I noted in there that I was able to program this to work with my lithium batteries so it will definitely uh, do that we're gonna get busy here tearing some stuff apart we got some wire to run and then um, we're gonna get this Bogart equipment installed okay we got a decent start we got the uh, communication wires started up through there and through the cargo bay over here kind of got them fished around now we just have to go in and get them fished up the wall. Yeah, that'll give us a big enough hole to get in there. Oh yeah, all right. Let's try to fish a wire through there. All right. Got it. All right. Okay, Tommy, pull the wires. I'm gonna, I'll take it up easy. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Uh, got him. Okay, see that was freaking simple. So do you want to go up here with it or do you want to put it here? We'll just put it right there. Because you can sit on the step. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll cool. Right All right, so I have to take this off and get to the back so we can plug in the communication cable. All right. 
There we go. So those communication wires feed here, and I'll have to go get a small slotted screwdriver. And then the phone cable just snaps in here. And that's the brains of the operation. Something like that. Uh, Try to line it up with this stuff. You good with that? That one. Yeah, that's side. Mm -hmm. yeah. There we go. All right, so if I can get this to focus, these wires, this is where these communication wires connect. And you have a white signal wire, two, ground one and ground two, and then battery one and two. So if you have a motor coach, for example, you can hook your house batteries to battery one and or battery two, and you hook your coach battery to the other one, and the monitor will actually monitor both batteries separately, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna hook these up, and then we'll be able to button this project up. All right, so we're gonna take white, the signal, cool. All right, and then we have ground one and two. Doesn't really matter which one it goes in. And because we're hooking this up in a fifth wheel, we're just gonna go to battery one, which is the most inside connection. You could also, if you had two separate battery banks, you could hook it up that way, but uh, we don't, so we won't. Okay, now let's grab this phone cable. So this is the cable that communicates with the uh, solar controller. This communicates with the shunt. So we're just gonna plug that in, as simple as that. And then we can button it back up and screw the box to the wall and we're done. So we'll go ahead and button this box back up first and then we'll mount it to the wall. Oh, you want to just start the first one, I'll hold it. Straight. It's pretty straight. There you go. Right. How it's going to get? get the battery monitor installed inside the coach and now it's time to clean up this battery bay we're going to remove all four batteries install the battery box just for a little added security and then we'll hook up the solar charge controller and the shunt um, in order to properly work with the battery monitor <music>
All right, we're running out of daylight, as you can see. These projects always take longer than than they should. But, 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 we got the batteries hooked up. We got the solar controller installed and the shunt. And we're gonna go inside now and we're gonna hook the power, the positive up over there for the uh, battery monitor and go inside and program that for these batteries. And then tomorrow we'll come back and hook up the solar panels. Hey there, welcome back. Here we are, day number two of our little mini solar install. Um, we ran out of daylight last night, but we were able to get the battery monitor installed. We got the wires ran inside the coach and we got the solar charger mounted. We're doing a small ground setup, uh, kind of like I have. I have a couple panels on the ground um, in a suitcase style. So that's what we're kind of setting up for him. Just two 100 amp panels or I'm sorry, 100 watt panels. We're gonna throw some hinges on them so we can fold them up and store them away easily enough. But, um, you know, baby steps, we gotta start somewhere. My prediction is it won't be too much longer uh, before we're adding more panels to the roof and doing <laughs> a bigger setup. Uh, it's pretty, pretty exciting um, to see your batteries charge and not hear your generator run. There you go. this there you go pretty really simple nice. really nice Go. Green light, orange light. I can't see the lights, but we've got solar. Woo! Okay, so we're at 13.1 volts, drawing 2.8 amps. We're 100% full, so no charging. And let's take a look here at solar. Solar pulling 9.5 amps out of the panels net of what we're using. There we go. Another successful install. All right, Tommy, got you all hooked up. Got you started with some solar. What do you think? It's right on, man. <laughs> Less battery anxiety. Yeah. Uh, it charges when we're not here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I sleep. Uh, I'll sleep much better tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, thanks for your help. Thanks for letting me uh, geek out on putting your solar stuff together. And I'm sure we'll upgrade at some point soon. Tomorrow. Yeah, no. tomorrow, right? Yeah. All right. All right. Thanks for joining us. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe and click that little bell so you get notifications when we upload new videos. Thanks again. Thanks for helping our channel grow. More content coming your way. Take care, safe travels. Check you later. Bye. Okay, so we're going to take the white wire to signal. Except we're going to have to take number two because I forgot to fish the wire through the spot. Uh oh. <laughs> See that, folks? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Even the guy that knows what he's doing doesn't know what he's doing. There we go. Thanks for checking out our latest video. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And while you're at it, click on the little bell to get notifications every time we upload a new video. Thanks again.